I can tell you they, they're digging on this idea of the saw and uh, everyone everyone's impressed by it I'm, I'm serious so um, hi guys yep it's a Saker mini saw it's got a, a 20 volt battery yeah that's what I'm talking about hi guys welcome to the channel Mike here today we're gonna be cutting some wood and using a chainsaw which is a dangerous piece of equipment so i want to talk about some of the safety items that you're going to need some gloves obviously you're going to put these on your hands and they'll keep sawdust off your hands and then you're going to want some of these these um, logger pants and there's lots of buckles and clips that you're gonna need to secure them to you to make sure that you're safe. So when you put these on, you wanna make sure that they're nice and tight. And you wanna check these buckles on the bottom and get them on and uh, check them. So I'm gonna show you how to put these on and uh, you wanna secure these and you don't want to pinch yourself with these buckles they can hurt if you pinch yourself so you want to just put them straight on on each leg like this this way when you get your chaps uh, put on put on your legs I'll show you how this works you get them on okay and so they're on your legs at this point once they're on your legs like this, then that gives you the opportunity and the safety of sitting down on a log while you're cutting something. And it keeps you from getting wet on the back. This part back here is gonna be all protected. And so you're not gonna have any issue with getting wetness or anything like that on you. And uh, so I think that's pretty good information. A lot of people may not realize that's the case. And, uh, there's some other pieces of equipment we're going to talk about and uh, get ready to go. And so I'm going to take you up to the side-by-side. Uh, -side. We're going to load that up and get busy, start doing some work. All right, now we're going to get our equipment, put it in the vehicle side-by-side, -side, get ready to do some work. We've got our saw. It's the Saker. Got our gloves. Got our oil. Have our helmet. We have our chaps. Let's go. Hey guys, another thing you don't want to ever forget when you're using a big saw to cut your wood or even a little saw to cut your wood is to make sure that you have ear protection and uh, because just be on the safe side, you don't want to lose hearing while you're working. That's why I have these. And so um, you, just, you just wind them up and just toss them in and uh, they're going to protect you uh, from uh, loud sounds and stuff like that and things that can hurt your ears it's just better to be safe you know what i'm saying so uh, stick with it stick with the safety side of things safety first that's what they say you know what i mean all right guys we talked a lot about safety and i think we've covered pretty much everything now i'm going to show you saker saw in action i've already put some oil on here and i showed you the oil container it's a little one, but you put, put oil on there and it'll make it run. So we have a dead limb here on this apple tree and I wanna show you the incredible power that's gonna happen when you use this saw when we're working on an apple tree like this, we have a dead limb. This will come in handy. You can keep it in your holster and then it's ready to roll. Here we go with the cut. You should also use this.
can see how that rips through the through the branch. Okay, here we have a pear tree and you can see that there's some unwanted branches here in the center and they are kind of problematic when it comes to having the center clear of branches and so you can utilize this saw this saw is so handy when it comes to cleaning up these unwanted branches on the inside so let's let's see how it works You can see how that branch just cut when I use the saw on it. Right here we have a larger branch. We're going to try to cut that with the saw. want to brace yourself and be prepared for kickback. Hi guys. So let's talk a little bit more about safety. Uh, you can see I have a holster for the saw. It's not included and also is not recommended. Uh, additionally, because it just keeps falling out of there of, of the holster because it's not it's not for this equipment. But I do have a holster. So, uh, but let's talk safety. Uh, first of all, um, you have this this thing here. You can put it around your wrist and wear it. It's not it's not like jewelry. It's actually to hold on to the piece of equipment. Uh, you put your wrist through there and it holds on to it. I wanna take the battery out for a second so I can show you the other safety features without causing myself any risk. And there's a button on here, you just push it, pull the battery out, it's that simple. Uh, one of the safety features is this hand protector and it goes over the trigger. And so, you know, if it were to like hit on something, it would protect your hand from getting hit unless it came up through this part right here, but on the top part, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit you. The other safety feature does have this button here. This is basically like a safety trigger, you know, like on some other types of things. And you push that and then you can pull the trigger. You can't pull the trigger without pushing that first, see? That's how that works. Then you have uh, this, this, uh, here which is spring loaded spring loaded uh, unit on here and as you cut through any kickback you know of the saw it it, it, it it will spring back on the branch as you're going through the branch but it protects you from kickback you know the saw coming up and, and you know hitting you so those are some good safety features uh, that I wanted to share with you so I guess that's about it on that. If you guys have have one of these saws, you can see that they'll come running when they when 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 you when you have this saw, people are going to be impressed and they're going to come running. Aren't you guys see? I can tell you they they're digging on this idea of the saw and uh, everyone everyone's impressed by it. I'm I'm serious. So, um, hi guys, yep, it's a Saker mini saw. It's got a, a 20 volt battery. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, if you find yourself in a precarious situation where you need to get a limb, it's way up, up high in a tree like this one, and it's a big tree, and you don't want to carry a big gigantic saw up there, you can actually, carry a small saw like this one it comes very handy once you get yourself positioned and secured in the tree you can simply use the saker saw to 
cut down a limb that you need cut. Here we go. You can see that limb came down with ease and now it's down. We're gonna do a couple more and I just want you to be prepared to see what happens. You can see that limb came down right away and we're gonna take this other one down. I'm actually under the limb, so that's why I have my hard hat on. Okay, we had a little blade pinch there. That was my fault. We have these limbs down. So there you go. You can see, uh, quick and easy, these limbs came down and now they're down. And uh, no problem at all. Uh, I was able to secure myself up in the lower part of the tree, take these limbs down. Now I have a pretty good stack of brush here. here that I took down with saker saw. Uh, the batteries just goes, goes, goes. Uh, it's easy, charge it up. So there you have it. Hi guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you had some fun with this video I did making it. Uh, listen, saker saw, full disclosure, they sent me this saw for free or offered to if I did a little uh, video on it. Uh, display and review and so on and I couldn't pass it up I mean you can never pass up the opportunity to have an extra saw right and this is going to be perfect for throwing into the side-by-side -side or throwing into the tractor it's quick and easy on some branches when they get in your way and uh, yeah so I couldn't pass it up there's tons of reviews on these saws maybe because they're sending them to a lot of folks but I wanted to do something a little bit different uh, so if you're really interested in looking at lots of different details about it, like I said, there's tons of videos about it. But I just wanted to share this with you. It's cute. It's easy. Uh, easy to use. It's compact. And uh, it's reasonably safe and fun to use. And it'll get those little tiny projects done. If you just got a branch here and there. You can grab it off the side by side. Grab it off the saw. Uh, throw it in your pack or whatever. And I was thinking for hunting too. Uh, for the tree stand to just be able to take this up there and not have to saw something if there's a branch in the way or so on so anyway i hope you had fun with it uh, if you have any questions you can certainly ask and uh, like i said there's tons of information about them and i want to say they're right around 50 bucks or so so not terribly expensive lots of different brands out there and uh, but the um saker they uh, they offered to send this to me and i i just thought hey let's give it a shot so hope you had fun. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, got some new tools in the mix and some more videos coming. So stay tuned. Uh, come back and see me and we will talk to you soon.